Hey everybody, it's Wick here and just want to make a quick video. Uh, first of all, saying thanks to everybody who watches and supports me. 5,000 subscribers, um, we've hit that mark and just wanted to say thanks. Um, I started this channel just because I was excited about reselling when I got into it and just wanted, you know, a, a way to vent that out because a lot of people I know in real life, they don't really care about the stuff I find. So um, <laughs> being able to post it online and having other people look at it and comment about it and uh, it just really helps. But uh, yeah, thanks for everybody. It's just insane to think that many people watch me. I'm not good at speaking. I'm an awkward dude. But um, for those who do, I, I, I appreciate it. But I also wanted just to show you this uh bolo I guess it's not my favorite term to use um, but be on the lookout for this item because I just recently re realized that these things were valuable maybe other sellers uh, already knew this I don't know this is the first time I've actually realized that these John Deere hats sell for so much money and a lot of people their location they're probably not going to see too many of these but here in Ohio there's you know farming all around there's all kinds of fields um, you hit a barn sale the chances are you're gonna run into some John Deere hats I don't know if chances are but you know there's a chance that you're gonna find them some old farmer you know I could just see it now going into a barn sale and there on a the table there's like 20 vintage hats and these aren't that old that I'm looking at here they're like 70s and 80s so very plausible to find these out in the wild but let's just go through them um, can't wait to hit garage sales. Um, going to some community sales this weekend, actually. So, um, getting back in the swing of things there. But here is, you know, vintage twenty four ninety nine best offer. You can't really see it. Sixty six dollars with thirteen bids. Uh, I'm sure it matters where they're made and what's on them. Here's one for fifty dollars. Um, Here's one that ended up going for about 40 75 for this one. That's actually a Ford tractor hat. Maybe something else to look out for. Any kind of tractor farming type hat maybe that's older. Uh, car hat. 41 Best offer taken. Can't see. Uh, 56 uh, 49 63 Here's one. BC Fort Morgan. 80s, uh, 154 dollars for 39 bids. So that's pretty crazy. Here's a John Deere uh, mesh hat, 179.99 with one bid. So that's pretty crazy. You just see that they're like here's 99, 222 dollars. Uh, look at the listing on this one, just vintage John Deere hat. <laughs> uh, nothing. Uh, they probably didn't even realize what they had. Probably just like, eh, just put it up for auction. And they probably, you know, was pretty shocked to see it went for $222 with 56 bids. Yeah, I mean, 197 152 Here's one. It was $349. They took a best offer. Who knows what that ended up going for. 216 Like, they're, they're high. And uh, I feel like any vintage John Deere hat, you're going to pick up for $0.50 cents or a dollar. So it's probably worth picking up. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to say thanks to everybody, uh, everybody that's helped me because I, I give advice and things like these John Deere hats I share. But at the same time, people leave in the comments all kinds of valuable information for me. I've learned stuff. I've made money. And it's great to kind of have a little community going on. But oh, I'm excited to go out garage selling and hopefully find some John Deere hats this year. They're probably harder to find than I'm thinking because otherwise, why would they be selling for that much? But I think my area is one of the areas that probably pretty good for this kind of stuff. So I'm hoping to, uh, to score this year. But um, yeah, that's going to be it. I want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing and commenting on the videos, liking, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Thank you for your time. This has been Wick. Until next time.